Now, considering Lucasfilm's recent rather poor track record when it comes to actually producing and releasing pretty much anything they announce, where we've had many, many projects over the last few years be announced, only to never come to fruition or see the light of day, one example being Rogue Squadron, where Patty Jenkins got announced as the writer-director, and they even had this little teaser trailer where she was dressed up as a fighter pilot and talked about how excited she was, and yet that eventually got entirely scrapped and was supposed to come out last December, actually, which is kind of crazy to think about. Anyway, with that track record of theirs, pretty much everything Lucasfilm announces is met with a healthy and fair amount of doubt and skepticism until you're actually there in the moment watching it. And that certainly includes the Rey movie, otherwise known as the New Jedi Order movie. There's been a good deal of doubt about that movie ever actually being made, for many reasons. And now there's even a report out there that says the film is on hold, which is a term we've heard Lucasfilm use before, and it usually basically means it's never going to happen, but they don't want to use that wording exactly. They don't want to say they've uh, announced another project that is never going to come out. And though this report is not confirmed or anything like that, I want to be clear, Lucasfilm hasn't officially come out to say anything is wrong with the Ray movie or anything like that. It is still supposedly a thing, though they've also given no updates on it in quite a while, other than Daisy Ridley recently talking about it a bit in an interview that she willingly got on board with the project. She wasn't under contract to do more or anything, and that she thinks it's a story worth telling. But considering again how many other projects have been cancelled and how many times we've heard insiders telling us there were problems behind the scene even when nothing official ever gets said, it really wouldn't surprise me at all if this were true about the Ray movie, that it is on hold, especially when we examine some of the evidence. The first piece being that the writer of this movie, Stephen Knight, who has reportedly done four drafts now and all have been rejected by Kennedy, or she's given notes on how to improve things, well, he has just announced that he is starting his own studio. And one can certainly imagine him focusing more on that than writing a fifth draft of a Ray movie. Another not-so-good sign for this film is the believed release date for it, which is, or was, December of 2026, where, or when, Disney has a slot already in place or secured for a Star Wars movie to be released. One that will go along with the one that is coming out in May of that year, that being the Mandalorian and Grogu movie, which almost certainly will be coming out since it is well into production. We've even seen a real teaser trailer for it at this year's D23, though it never got released to the public, only to those who were at the event. But yeah, you can find it online if you look hard enough, and I have seen it, and it is pretty good. Anyway, though, certainly start-to-finish movies take a long time to produce, usually many years, and there can be a lot of snags along the way in that industry of all industries. Things that delay projects for a couple of years at a time even, but then the movie still eventually does come out and can even still be good. Well, it has been roughly a year and a half at this point since it was announced at the 2023 Star Wars Celebration, where Daisy Ridley, who of course plays Rey, was even brought out on stage. And yet, they still don't even have a completed or finalized script, nor is the film obviously anywhere near close to filming, despite some saying that was supposed to start this September, right now, and that again it would be out in roughly two years, or in time for that December of 2026 release date that Disney has in place for a Star Wars movie. And though, sure, you could say or make the argument that at least they're taking their time and want to get this movie right, they didn't want to rush it into production, but the problem with that is, I think there's a fine line between taking your time to get something right and having problems getting it into production finally, or finally getting a script done and finalized and moving on to filming. In other words, yeah, there's taking your time to get something right, which I'm all for, but then there's it just not working out because of so many issues that we may or may not ever hear about. So many that you begin to wonder if this is just never going to work out and actually be made. Then there's the problem with the mere idea or concept behind the movie itself. The uphill battle it will face if it does ever get made. I mean, I know there are sequel trilogy fans out there and that's fine. And I know there are even some who love the character of Rey and really would love to see her start a new Jedi Order to be in this film, to have it be made. 
but there are also a lot of fans who not only have zero interest in this movie whatsoever, who will never watch it, they will never pay a dime to go to a theater and see it, they may watch it someday eventually somehow, but they're never going to pay for it, even if they hear it's good. But there will also be those that have a, let's call it, active disinterest in this film that will, whether it's fair or not, right or not, they will actively sort of campaign against it as it gets closer to release. As more and more information comes out, they will no doubt skew it to look like a bad film. This will be done by those that feel, again, fair or not, that Ray is sort of the symbol or poster child of everything wrong or that has gone wrong with Disney Star Wars. And to make a movie featuring her is almost a slap in the face or a doubling down on stupidity, they might argue. Which, though I don't know I'd use that term exactly, is something I kind of agree with. Again, I know there's people who love Ray and the sequels, and I have zero ill will towards you. You could enjoy whatever the heck you want, and why should I be bothered or even upset about that? But I don't think there's any denying that the sequels were more harm than good for Star Wars on the whole, and by quite a bit. That they damaged the franchise to say nothing of the rift in the fandom it is now created or started. Not that there wasn't one before with the prequels, but certainly the one we have now is uh, pretty bad. And there's also a reason why it's been roughly five years since the last Star Wars film came out. And it's not because the sequels um, made Star Wars extremely popular and uh, everybody was excited for more of it. It's because they did the opposite. Because as the trilogy went on, they saw a declining return at the box office until the final film in the trilogy made half of what the first one did. And so, as someone who cares quite a bit about Star Wars, who would love to see it get its uh, act together and get back on track and become the premier franchise it once was, the last thing I really want to see or think should be done with it is embracing a character that again, like it or not, is basically the symbol of what went wrong with it after Disney first bought it, what went wrong with the sequels. Why embrace a character that the wide general audience really didn't care much about or resonate with? It's not like there's a ton of casual fans or more average moviegoers that are kind of clamoring for a Rey movie or even probably care or remember the character all that much. Rey, after her trilogy, did not become, uh, let's say, an iconic character of Star Wars, not in a positive way at least. And a movie about her, I'm sorry to say, doesn't appeal to many outside of those in the core fandom, again, the ones that like the sequels. And honestly, I'm surprised, as I was back then when it was first announced, but I'm surprised Disney ever greenlit this project in the first place. Just looking at the numbers, at the bottom line, really, you would really think they'd look at the sequels and say, okay, sure, they made a ton of money overall, but you now want to do another film, or possibly films, with the main character of a trilogy that saw its box office revenue, again, cut in half by the third and final film. You want to do a film with a character that seems to be generally disliked by a large portion of our customer base to the point where they'd, again, they'd never go see another film with her in it. They wouldn't pay to see this. So how is this your big idea to bring Star Wars back to box office success when you're not banking on an iconic character or banking on a character that a lot of people really want to see again? Though, of course, the one I think really does want to see this movie get made is Kathleen Kennedy. As I have discussed before, Rey and the sequel trilogy, they are her legacy. That is what she will always be remembered for, good or bad, depending on your point of view, I suppose. And we, not long ago, we heard rumors about her wanting to go out on a big win, essentially. And there would be no bigger win for her personally, for her legacy, then to save or fix what she has to know deep down is her biggest failure, that being, of course, the sequel trilogy. And so, quite honestly, based mainly on, again, that previous track record, as well as just my gut feeling, which no, really doesn't mean anything, but if I had to bet on whether or not the Ray film would ever get made or will ever get made, I would have to bet no, even though I think, again, Kennedy will do anything and everything in her power, however much she has of it right now, to make it happen. But the more time that passes without, well, without a script even being done, or without, again, more information just kind of leaking out, and yes, we do have another celebration in April, coming up next April, I should say, where anything, I suppose, could be announced. But the more time passes hearing, again, a little or nothing about it from Lucasfilm, 
and it not going into production, I just get the feeling this is something that Kathleen Kennedy sort of uh, jumped the gun with and now Disney is pumping the brakes and this is just never going to happen. I don't know, I mean, I still think there's of course a chance it will happen, certainly there's still a chance, but you gotta be very, very skeptical, just weighing all the facts and information. I mean, as I've also talked about before, the recent failure of the Acolyte, it being the least viewed of the live action Star Wars shows on Disney+, Plus, certainly hasn't scored uh, any points for Kennedy with Disney either. Certainly they look at the $180 million lost there and ask, um, how many hundreds of millions of dollars do you now want to make a Ray film? And what makes you think this movie will do well, will make a ton of money, when again, this is not a beloved character. And so I just don't see it. I don't see Disney taking the big risk. I just don't see this being a movie that ever actually does get made. I see this being one of those things that they will talk about for a couple more years yet and then just kind of hope you forget about, kind of like that Ryan Johnson trilogy. Though, as I've said before, if it does get made, if the Rey New Jedi Order movie does eventually come out against all odds, I do hope it'll be a good movie. I will always root for Star Wars, like I say. Well, that's all I got for you this time. Now it's your turn to take to the comments below and tell me what you think about this one. Will the Rey New Jedi Order movie ever come out, or is it just going to be in production hell for years before, again, quietly kind of fading away and just never seeing the light of day? Whatever you think, leave a comment below. Let's talk some Star Wars. And until next time, thanks for watching.